That'll end it here at the National Sports Center. The final score, the Atlanta Silverbacks won. Minnesota United, zero. I think certainly we have to start with the fact that uh, you know, we would have liked to gotten a better result. Um, I thought, um, you know, uh, it's tough to take a little bit at home, the first game of the opening season. But at the same time, I think there was some nice moments and some nice energy and effort. And uh, you know, we created some nice chances. Um, and, and certainly, uh, you know, we have to figure out a way to create that kind of momentum into results. So I think, again, the, the group was new. And you could see at times it was chunky in terms of how we were uh, flowing within the game. and uh, you know. Um, defensively, we had a little bit of let up on their goal. So, um, things to work on, but certainly, uh, I think we've got some positive uh, ideas to move forward with. I, I think we've, we have good players who are going to add a lot of uh, leadership to the team. They're going to add a lot of uh, qualities on the field. So, again, I think as a group, it's, it's up to us to really embrace them and figure out the best way to both use them and for them to, to lead as well on the field. When the team brings it's team personality. I think the individual personality is going to come out, and, and nobody is going to be one player like, say, Kyle. But in some ways, they might be different, and that's the difference of what we maybe re need right now. So I'm looking forward to us uh, dealing with the adversity of a, not the best result and you know, really trying to figure out how to become a better team by the guys stepping on the field and their actions, uh, you know, deciding those kind of leadership qualities. I just think there's a combination of things. I thought we were a little slow to get to our spots to defend the corner kick, and I think that resolved a lot of the issues in terms of uh, certainly they, uh, you know, took advantage that our shape was not uh, correct yet. And then from that, you know, I think there was just a little bit of lackadaisical defending uh, on our part to really make sure at the top of the box guys aren't dribbling through free. And uh, you know, I want to give credit to them. I, I thought we were playing really well and really taking it to them. They come back with a quick corner and it leads to the goal and the game changes right there and that, that's the sport. So for us we have to sharpen up to make sure that we don't give up that kind of goal at that point in the game and at the same time, you know, uh, we got to take more pride in dealing with set pieces better. Yeah, I just think that, you know, you have small sided spaces, you have to move the ball quickly to create chances, you have to, um, you know, certainly turnovers very quickly happen right away so you have to be ready to play defense right away again. And, Again, I think that little nice competition on the day like today is nice because there's some guys that didn't get minutes and they want to really compete and play hard. So I think it's an effective training session to have the guys who didn't play get a chance to A, you know, get their technique going, their fitness going, all those things that are important. And then B, I think the group really enjoys uh, you know, competing. We learn from the things we did this game, the group we have, and we try to really adjust to uh, the things that we didn't do well Saturday and continue to push the group because you know, we, we do have a good group of quality guys that can really uh, do some nice things in the field.